Hello and welcome back and in this video we'll continue our discussion on the grid lines right so these are the some of the uh, grid uh, you know lines or a network of grid lines that we have generated in the previous video in this video we'll take a look at the uh, other features of the grid lines right say for example we have created number of uh, horizontal and transverse line and uh, the transfer grid lines we named it as uh, a b c d and so on right say so for example uh, once i uh, create a transfer then if i want to create an additional grid lines i mean horizontal grid line i can go to architecture underneath grid and if you can see that when i start creating a grid line right so i give it a go it marks something called i right so which means that i have generated a uh, f then i've just generated g and h and i've deleted that and then it automatically makes up that particular uh, you know automate automate alphabet i right or say for example uh, i'll make another grid line right so in this case i'll copy a, this thing and then i'll you know select this i copy then i can click on that and i'll bring it back and it will become something called j right so can see after i it is j so i'm going to delete this for a moment right say uh, if i want to create something called 6 which means i've got five horizontal line then say this is 6 say for example uh, i'll copy this right say i'll make another grid line say now it becomes 7 you can see that it is 7 now so it's automatically number right so that's a very important or key features of the uh, grid line. So it's the numbers automated or even if you change the numbers to alphabet and it gets automated and something like that, right? So, all right, so let's take a look at uh, the grid line in some angles, right? So I create a new grid line. So I'll keep this place as origin and I rotate it to some, uh, you know, angle, say arbitrary angle, say for example, 70 degree right and then i come back here and i can choose the desired angle say for example i want to have at 35 degree then i'll just give 35 and click enter and it understands that now i made an uh, you know a grid line at some angle which is 35 degree or the desired angle right so i'm gonna click close and then i can even reposition it like if i want to have it something like a diagonal i can have and i can probably have this thing right so i can reposition as i told you in the previous video grid lines are the guidelines or temporary lines like it does not really look into the geometrical measurement in terms of length but in terms of spacing um, it does matter because uh, we generally create grid lines for the walls and the footings and so on right um, so this is something like you can create it with an angle or if you want to uh, you know uh, rotate an existing uh, grid line you can click any one grid line and you can go to something called rotate. So when I click rotate, uh, it asks me uh, about something called angle. Say for example, I rotate it at 45 degree then I give 45 and you can see the, the uh, grid line taken its center automated and then it rotates 45 degree. So that's what you can see. Or if you want to uh, rotate it to other degree, which you might not anticipate earlier like 40 like in the case is 45 degree say i want to you know increase it to 52 degree and you can pretty much have it or you can do it with minus 60 degree also like it automatically takes the other way around right so that's how you uh, rotate the uh, you know the grid lines uh, in this video we have seen uh, the two different ways in which you can rotate the grid line like once you create the grid line you can start rotating it or once you create a per perfectly horizontal or transverse grid line you can still be able to do it right. so in the next video we'll take a look at the other variations or other different methods you can draw uh, different grid lines see you then bye bye